What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the show. So I'm gonna do a little walk today. We'll talk a little bit about uh, social security. And I'm in Lorelis right now. Lorelis Medellin. Walking down the street, just showing you guys what I'm looking at here. And then we'll get our, we'll get started in a second. But uh, pretty busy little neighborhood. This is right near what they call La Satenta. La Satenta is a popular destination for clubs and restaurants. Uh, so we're just right off La Satenta. But La Satenta is even busier than this. So let's talk about this because I'm seeing this and it's, it's been around for a while, but I just um, happened to see it again and thought about it. There's a quote and I don't know the exact quote. I'm gonna show it to you guys on the screen. So at this point of the video, I realized I wasn't giving you a complete explanation of what I was trying to convey uh, in this video. So first I wanna read the actual quote and then I wanna tell you what I was trying to get across in the video. So retirement age is 67, life expectancy is 78. Work for 50 years to maybe enjoy 11. Start enjoying life now, tomorrow isn't guaranteed. So that is the exact quote. And what I was trying to convey in the video, and I wanted to keep the video up because I think there was some valuable information that I, that I put in the video, but I just wanted to explain. Not only is this telling you to get out and enjoy life, but you also need to think about what this is actually telling you. It's telling you that you'll work for 50 years out of your life and you'll contribute for 50 years out of your life, the average person, and you can't retire until you're 67 or you can't collect your full social security until you're 67. And so what does that say to the American people? You're gonna work 50 years, you're gonna contribute for 50 years, you're only going to get the highest paying 35 years uh, for social security. And so basically you're giving away 15 years and once you retire at 67, you might only have 11 years to live. And that's, that should be an eye opener to a lot of people when you start looking at the social security system. Okay, so let's go ahead and get back to the video. So you pay into the social security system for 50 years. And let's just say, for sake of argument, it doesn't even have to be 50 years. Let's say it's 47 years. Let's say you start working when you're 20 and you retire at 67. That is the retirement age currently. So if that is your situation, you've worked 47 years. Now, if you started working a little bit earlier, let's say you started working at 17 or 18, well, then you're in a whole different situation where now you're at 50 years. 50 years that you've contributed to the social security system and your expectancy of life after that is around, give or take 13 years, give or take between 70 and 80, okay? So what does that say for our current system? Oh, they got a barbershop right here. I'm gonna have to come back here. St. Patrick's, get a haircut later. Um, what does that say about our system? Where you can pay into a system, you're paying 6.2%, your employer's paying 6.2%, so that's 12.4% every year. If you're making $100,000 a year, you're paying into the social security system, that's $12,000, $12,400 $12, every year. And then you compound that by 50 years, you put a lot of money into the social security system. And because of our life ex expectancy, we're not gonna get that money back. And that's the sad part. Okay, now understand the way social security works. It's not a system where you're putting money into the bank. It's basically, when you're paying in, you're paying for the people who are receiving their benefits now. The people who are um, retired are getting their benefits from the people who are working right now. That's how it works, okay? But nonetheless, you invest a lot and in some situations you might not be getting that much back in return. And so that should seem unfair. It should seem unfair for a lot of people because they're putting a lot in and they're not getting a lot, a lot out. And you're not, living a good life if you're living primarily on social security 
and that's a real real danger a real problem because people are getting to that age where they start receiving social security and they realize that money is not good they're not able to survive on that and you have to have some other form of of uh, income you need to have a 401k you need to have some type of retirement set up or you're going to be struggling and the reality is you're not going to be able to make it you just aren't it's not enough money so it's unfortunate the way the system is right now and it clearly has to be revamped it clearly needs to be changed and i think we're going to see that let's hope in the near future uh are no guarantees but that that's what we're looking at this is a mobile this is a mobile gas station it's the first time i've seen mobile in in Colombia, but most of it's and you see it's like premax here and then over there it's just mobile maybe just mobile gas they probably have mobile oil that's probably what it is they just have use mobile oil okay so where are we going from here so yeah so i just wanted to bring that bring that out because the way things are going right now with social security not being solvent in 13 years something's obviously going to have to happen and if it doesn't then we're going to be looking at even more cuts when it comes to social security so something's going to have to be done we know we have politicians right now who have an idea of what they want to do senator bernie sanders is probably the latest has the latest plan for uh, some type of uh, change to social security a boost of twenty four hundred dollars uh, that's the latest that we're hearing right now but something clearly needs to be done and let's hope in the future that it will get done now Lorellis, look at this look how beautiful this is all these trees right here and most of the most of the area is like this it's lined with all these trees Let's see if i can get across the street it's lined with all these trees and it's flat it's a flat land to walk on which is cool because it's not that flat as you can see there's a little bit of hill there but it's for the most part it's not too bad and then you have these little bike lanes everywhere so very popular uh, place for people who want to to ride bikes because there is bike trails throughout the city and on sunday they will close down parts of the street and then they'll have uh, people are able to ride their bikes without interruption, without cars or anything like that. So, just wanted to give you kind of an update when it comes down to Social Security. So right now, the most popular plan is Senator Bernie Sanders' plan, a $2,400 boost to Social Security, which equates to about $200 per month. If he can get that through, it's gonna be tough, a tough hurdle because you're looking at the Senate. The Senate is broken down to 50 Democrats, 50 Republicans, and uh, at, the, at the current time, not all 50 Democrats are on board for the $2,400 raise. Uh, so that's, that's going to have to be something that they're going to have to figure out. Uh, now also, I do want to talk a little bit about COLA, because COLA, we're going to find out those numbers. Um, we'll find out those numbers in October. But July, which is right around the corner, very important month, July, August, and September, because those are the months that they're going to use to calculate COLA uh, for the next year, uh, so for 2023. So very, very important for us to watch inflation. That's what we're watching. We're watching the CPI score. The CPI score is gonna indicate what uh, the Social Security Administration will be doing when it comes to COLA for 2023. So anyway, if you guys have any questions, please post them down below. And bye for now. I'll let you guys enjoy a little bit of the scenery as I, as I close out the video. But make sure if you guys are not subscribed, please do that because I'm doing premieres. And when I do premieres, if you're subscribed and you hit that little bell notification, you are going to get notified when I, when I uh, launch the premiere. Before the premiere starts, I'll launch it probably about two hours before. So you'll know that I'm going to be doing a premiere. And once I do the premiere, once the premiere starts, then you can chat with me in the chat about uh about anything you can ask me any questions a lot of people don't ask me questions in the in the uh premieres that's your opportunity so if you wanted to reach out to me you've been reaching out to me maybe uh through email or you've been reaching out to me through 
through comments, the best way to, to reach out to me is during one of those premieres because that's when I'm there. I can give you up-to-date information as it happens. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.